Welcome back. Here we are in Mount Gambia today. I'm getting toured around by a couple of locals from the yarns. Yarns are rubbish. We got Brad and BB here. And we're going to have a look at all the Mount Gambia footy grounds in this video. So let's go. We're here at East Gambia now. Yes. Um, very weird because they're the Bulldogs, but they wear Essendon jumpers. Yep. Um, <laughs> why is that? I've got no idea. I have no idea. I, play, I played here as a junior and I don't think anyone ever raised that. But it yeah. is weird, you're right. It's just it a is, weird but crossover, especially when they've it... like stolen the logo from the Bulldogs. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a lot of clubs do that, I guess. But Yeah, exactly. Um, it's not a bad place here. What's this place called? McDonald Park. McDonald Park, yeah. Yeah. McDonald Park. Oh, no, you're getting recognised here. Um, but here's the change rooms. <laughs> How do you rate these? Uh... Um, the classic, the home ones are really, really, really good from memory. And yeah. the other ones like mouldy carpet type stuff. East Gambia, they formed in 1934 and in their second season, they uh, lost the grand final to Roseville. Where is Roseville? Isn't it like... Um... Where is Roseville? Yeah, Anyone where know is Rose Rose Roseville? Roseville. Roseville? Anyway. I'm sources say it was um, started in 1938, so I don't know what the go is. I found two different sources. Oh, hello, I don't think I found yeah. um, yeah. That's alright. It's a founding club. Up here is yeah. where they do their warm up, like the kick stuff. Oh, alright. And that's their view of the ground. Warm up area. Yeah, so this is where we did like the crossover handball and whatnot. Yeah, pre game it's stuff. All up there. Did you say East Gambia is some, a club that sort of struggled a little bit compared to the other clubs? I don't know. I. I haven't been close to it for a while. It's yeah. That junior, like all junior level, the teams are always a little bit worse than the rest of them. But, but yeah. there's so many people around. There's good people. It's just yeah. juniors were never as good. I don't know much recently. That was like 10 like years that ago. That last A yeah. grade was like 2017? Yeah, so they won in 2017. And um, they uh, were a strong side in the 70s because they recruited this guy from Fitzroy, <laughs> Gary Lazarus. And he was um, the captain coach. And they won four flags in that era. So that's... Um, that's when they were at peak. Yeah. yeah. But that, um, East Gambia were actually the, one of the clubs that was um, meant to step down a level when the leagues were going to merge. They were going to merge the KNTFL and the Western Border. Um, and then East Gambia would go in the Mid-South East League. I don't know if you remember that. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. And then like everyone was like, no, nah, no, nah, we're not going to do that. So that never eventuated. Um, mate, I think East Gambia probably would have even benefited from that. Because like the people, game, the, yeah, the yeah, people wouldn't have wanted to travel down to like Narracourt and Keith and stuff to play. So yeah. Since when has a solar farm been here? Yeah, I don't know. Really. I think that might be because that's the motel. Oh yeah. Maybe don't quote me. Nah, it seems it seems legit. There's a motel up there. Yeah. I know it's a touch footy out there, but has it always been here. Um, not that I don't. I'm not sure. I've only. I'm going into my third season now, and oh, uh, right. every time I've been playing, it's only been out here. I know it yeah, was but it. it I, and yeah. I, my, when my mum used to play, and she's like forty something. I don't, I'm not exactly sure of my mum's age, but when she <laughs> <laughs> when she played when she was my age, they used to play at the old jail as well. So. Uh, old jail. Old, yeah, they actually <laughs> yes, they actually versed uh, jail, jail members. Yeah, seriously, it was weird. <laughs> weird. I remember when she told me that. I was like. When was this? Like the no, oh, it can't be that long ago, I guess. Oh, she's not, she she's not been, very she old. Been around she's my age, late and 80s. Yeah, yeah, probably late eighties or so. 90s. Yeah, early nineties, roughly. That's mad. And then, Where, was there even a ground there? Where is it? Uh, I don't know much oh, about it. Really it. Yeah, it's not yeah, really a ground. Right. It's more grass, a grass pitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. This is the first electronic scoreboard in the Western Border. Is that real? Yeah, it looks like one of the early ones. Because yep. now nowadays, um, all the scoreboards will be completely electronic, and it'll be like. You know, they'll have graphics and stuff. Yeah, much more fancy than this. Yeah, I remember it was it was almost Disney's. like not a good thing to have the uh, first ones because like I played at Kyby and we had one of the early ones up um, around Narakul, but yeah, yeah I my, think uh, we had my dad actually used to play Kyby as well. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> there you we go. Had a couple of power outs in games because of this score oh. when we first got it. Power outages. Well, there was a couple. So things. like, did the siren not go off? No, no, no. Is oh. it like the lights? Oh, up okay. In like a night trial game. Yeah. And they sorted that out before the season actually started, oh, okay. but it wasn't. It wasn't great. It was really weird. East, East Gambia Cricket Club as well? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. East Gambia. I don't actually think I've ever been to the Cricket time. Club. And I've been here lots of times, like way back in the day, because this was a soccer ground where the Sharks played. And this was a ground where I could actually score goals. So I remember it fondly. <laughs> you um, change rooms, did you? No, nah, the change rooms are this shed here. That's where it was. And then um, canteen here. I assume it still gets used for cricket. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. um, which is cool, but yeah, there was a massive um, fence here behind the soccer goals, slightly defaced. 
<laughs> but um, Alan Scott must have had a bit of money invested in East Gambia too. Uh. Oh, you can go in there. I never knew that. We can go in. Is there anything scary? Haywood. Haywood. That's so mad. So Haywood left in like 2012. Shows you how old these signs are. Because it's very generic, nothing on the back. West. West. You might be able to guess that all the names in Mount Gambia are very generic. Yeah, another Haywood. <laughs> another <laughs> Haywood. That's an even older hand painted one. Visitors. Visitors, and that's it. Or oh, even more. Bowler. So these are the current ones. Oh, bowler, yeah, cricket. Port Portland? Yeah, Portland. They left the league. Over to the Hampton Imperials. Imperials. Hampton and um, Hamilton Imperials, sorry. And Casterdon, they still go around, but South Australia. South Australia. <laughs> when would South Australia play here? Versus here's? Victoria. You didn't want to oh, talk. right. We got an some abandoned tennis courts here. Do you know the story? No idea. Nope. Something to research, I know, I maybe. Played D grade here when she was a young lad. Yeah. She was a young lad back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, East Gambia Tennis Club. It's got a bit of the red there, so the red and black obviously moved to the uh, the tennis as well. But pretty much typical abandoned tennis court, which you wouldn't really expect to see in a place like Mount Gambia. We got, is it 30k here? 30k people? Yeah, which benches, sponsor signs, Slate and Fireside shop. Oh, so this was maybe another netball court as well. Maybe um, the original netball courts. Oh yeah, you can see the lines. Yeah. I definitely would agree with that. But um, the poles here look fairly permanent. So maybe um, stop using this netball a while ago. Still waiting on the for a gig. Slate and Fireside. I don't think they call it that anymore, do they? Uh, no. I no. don't think we have the same like, Yeah. Yeah. Balfour's. South Australian pie, pastry, sausage rolls, cakes. Damn, you know it's been a while when. Uh, Lennon's. Lennon's. Service station. <laughs> Can you tell us about Lennon's? Uh, I know that there used to be a Lennon's butcher. Uh, yeah. Um, I've never heard of a Lennon's service station, so that really goes to show you how long that's been here. Because <laughs> none of us recognise that. There was a Lennon's butcher sign just behind yeah. the back of the. Right, okay. Oh, geez, let's put it. That's been a while ago. So something you'll see on the entry here is that the league is now the Limestone Coast Football Netball League, which just changed. There is um, an old sign in here of the Western Border Days. So it just changed recently. Um, was it like an actual... I think it's still the same league, pretty much. Yeah, it's the same league. It's like, branded. Yeah, it's just a brand. Canola's coming in. They were meant to add another team, but never did. So, um, a bit of a meal here for someone, if anyone wants that. Oh, who wants a Sanger? Oh, oh, Chip Sanger. Oh, that's hungry. Yeah. Yo, that's. that's <laughs> and a budget. Oh, a budget. <laughs> budget from uh, must be from the women's game. It's got the. Uh, that's a women's league, Limestone Coast. Um, whatever it is. One from Coast Women's League. Yeah, she looks like it was recent. I did not notice that. There's a kennel, literally uh, a kennel at the entrance for the Bulldogs. That's cool. All right, let's move on to the next ground. All right, now we are here at South Gambia. What's this place called? South Gambia. South Gambia. Blue Lake Sports Park. Blue Lake Sports Park. Blue Lake Sports Park. This has hockey turf. Cricket. Baseball, softball. Diamonds, diamonds. So this place was opened up in um, 1973 and um, everyone thought that this place was so far out of town. Literally half the sports of Mount Gambia play here now. So um, South Gambia originally used to play at um, Frew Park in the centre of town. Then they moved to the, uh, the showgrounds where they played up until the 70s. and. Um, they used to uh, move the sheep off the show. I don't know why they were sheep in the showgrounds. Keep but, the grass down. Yeah, but like surely they had a mower back then. <laughs> surely they had mowers in like the 60s. Anyway, they, they used to kick the sheep off the oval and play footy at the showgrounds. So they built this place. It's a little bit on the edge of town, but um, lots of room out here for a nice ground actually. The last time I came here was, um, I think it was like 2006 or 7, and the Crows played a pre-season game Yeah, against here. Melbourne. 
Against Melbourne, yeah. yeah you so would have been there. like in nappies, cool. but... Yeah, I remember it. I remember <laughs> it. I, yeah. So, South Gambia were formed in 1926, and in their very first year, they played in the grand final against Narakul, which they lost to. So, I'm quite proud of that Narakul team winning. Back then, Narakul used to wear red and black. South Gambia are the demons, and they wear um, red with a white V. So, not the typical demon, but um, quite a good design, I reckon. Uh, South Gambia <laughs> Club has around... 35, 40 members. <laughs> Actually, do that. <laughs> He's not making that up. Um, the velodrome is only used in the summer. Where it's like an aerodrome in Adelaide, but the cover is used all year round. Yeah, right. Is it I wouldn't. Slippery in the winter? Oh uh, yeah, quite slippery. Like even just at night, the dew. Nice smell here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Creo. Oh, Gotta love yourself some Creo. <laughs> Creo stuff. Um, Netball stuff in there. This was opened in 2012. What? Oh, that's a it's not, new, new it's not newer than a you guy. Know, read it now. So. I do remember the smell from the last time we came here when I was a little kid. It's the varnish from like the stains on the wood. Right, that's, yeah. that's what it is. <laughs> There's the logo, the demon. I do like that um, it's a, an original logo. It seems like it anyway. And the <laughs> and he's actually wearing the jumper, which I always like seeing in, in little logos. How <sighs> are the nuggets right? <laughs> nuggets for sale. Get me on that. That's not bad. No other prices are available at the moment. They actually have their own logo for their canteen, which I've never seen anywhere else. Like a specified South Gambia canteen logo. Express coffee, it's like it's a Macca's line or something. And then the home changers are in there, but I think they're all in there. Yeah. So South Gambia were a really strong club in the 90s. They won seven premierships in the 90s, so that completely dominated that era. And that meant they had the most Western Border Premierships in the Western Border era. Um, so, would you say you wouldn't say they're the strongest club, would you? Like in, in general, is there, oh, is there a particular pretty, strongest club? Gen, yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pretty they're big. juniors. Uh, it's considered no, they're the most the popular club in the juniors. Yeah. Like all, all the all the kids will flock to South just to play with their yeah. mates and whatever. So they're generally pretty strong every year. So it's a, it's a pretty strong generational club. Yeah. 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 It's either them or not, so that's always up there. Still. Even got the logo on the fire. It is a good view here, actually. Good for a grand final. How's the wind here? Yeah. <laughs> not a whole heap of coverage. Yeah. Sponsor signs here, like we saw at the other ground. Starting to fade away. He's locked. Oh, oh, right. It's a bit of a deadly door, I reckon. <laughs> you fold your dead. But this one's locked up, understandably. And they're the only club in Mount Gambia that doesn't have an electronic scoreboard. We'll wait and see, but it has got the old clock. Which, um, you don't see a whole lot nowadays. It was a bit of a disadvantage <laughs> in <laughs> They could actually read it probably. Oh, I just knew where the mark was when the bell rang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Another one that's not electronic. All right, so here we are at Vansittart Park, home of North Gambia. Now, the weird thing is, is that we're not really in the north of the town. Central. It's, <laughs> it yeah, is in centrally. It's pretty well near city centre. It, it, yeah, so it's the most centrally located ground out of all the Mount Gambia teams. But it, we're technically the most north. It's like, well, in hockey, you're all the... Um, Clubs change from I think South. Oh, really? Yeah. So West, they were all the same in they're, hockey. They're all the same, and oh. they all changed to different. So we're, yeah. there's now only West. All oh, right. Everyone else has different names. So everyone else is fake. It's just you are legit. We're changing. <laughs> <South Europe. laughs> Isn't that correct? West Wombats. Oh, we were in the West Wombats. Oh no. Really? Let's hope not. <laughs> West Wackers. So North are the Tigers, and we're gold with a black sash, not the other way around. Um, yeah, it's which inverted. is interesting. Oh, yeah. It's I played for North too. Oh I really? For no, I did play <laughs> uh, the last year of 17s. I played for North. Yeah. yeah. Played oh, I okay. played. I played one game of B Resis for North. <laughs> How'd you go? Yeah, I Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us anything interesting about North? Uh, 
Um, well, Bre the funny thing is, actually, I always thought it's the only oh, football grounds the where their club rooms aren't actually located on the grounds. They're actually across the road. <laughs> oh, is that right? Yeah. No, so, so oh, just I've over seen there. that before. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Uh, you'll see it. In a, the footy ground, that, the, like just past that building uh, over there, is kind of where their their club rooms yeah. are. Yeah. Kind of tucked over near Green Triangle. It, it's really strange. I, I never really. I only kind of it's, really it's think. Really weird. So it's, have, it's strange. Yeah. So how it's does it? Like they don't have the space for it. How does a game day work without the club rooms being here? Oh, does everyone just goes the in, this. in there? Yeah. And this is also like a barbecue. Everyone just stands yeah, here. Yeah. Mm. And then uh, like, and they're, they're kind of one of the only good clubs that have got like a real big grandstand like that. Yeah. Club. So this is the most traditional football mm. ground I'd say in Mount yeah. Gambia. The most um, historical, I'd say. Yeah. yeah. This is where um, Brad Close is from. Brad Close. Yeah. yeah. You, a um one premiership as a teenager here in the seniors. Yeah right. I did one training with him. That's All right. right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the first year, the first training season, they put the seniors in the seventies. North together. Gambia. This logo was actually featured on Geelong's jumper this year when um they had the country round game for Geelong. Oh, cool. And I got one of the I got one so got his yeah. actual match worn from that game. I um, when, uh, yeah, it's like, so I've never come across any other club that doesn't have club rooms on the actual ground. <laughs> I don't reckon. It's a bit of a strange thing. <laughs> this up here is where they do their warm up as well, so that's uh, up on the up in the hill. Once again, on a hill overseeing the ground. So yeah. So the change room is actually inside of the club room. Um, oh, oh, there we go. Nineteen twenty-seven. Stone was late. There you go. How often would this actually get used on a game day? People sit up here. Oh, every yeah. Oh, Brad Nass sat here once when we watched Allison. Yeah. What did he do? Do his ACL? Yeah. Yeah. Did his ACL? Yeah. Watch one of our mates playing his North, his North game here. Did his ACL. Oh wow. Who's sitting up here watching? <laughs> Got a good view. You can actually you get a good view of the mount as well while you're here. New Nepo change room, which is pretty good. Although it doesn't seem heaps big, but we're working in a pretty small area Very, here. Um, intimate dugouts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well dug. <laughs> no, I'm just thinking like not, uh, not many secrets when you go there. Pretty nice facility, really. It's an odd little room though, like it's not like it's... Yeah. It's, it looks like a... Like a like they should be open it. Yeah, it looks yeah. like... How many trespassers would have been prosecuted <laughs> to uh, <laughs> practice yeah, their bowling and batting. Here we are, Mole Seed Park, home of West Gambia. The ruse, but they wear a demon's jumper. Yeah, uh, it's a good looking demon's jumper. <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> um, they've had a few different variations over the years. I remember um, Tim O'Brien, he um, played AFL. He was a premiership ruckman here when he was a teenager. I like their jumper back then. It was like a gradient design. Yeah. Um, which I quite liked, but now they go a bit more traditional. Uh, but yeah, West Gamby, they used to share Vansadar Park until uh, the 70s, and then they moved out here to West Gambia. And since then, there's other sports that have joined this facility as well. Nah, Named after Barry Maney. Oh, the old scoreboard's behind it. Yeah, the old, no. Oh, wow. The old scoreboard is So they've just covered it up. <laughs> there it is. With the Mole Seed Park. Just there. Can we get into it? South. South. Bulls. What is the Bulls? Yeah, Chicago. Ch game Chicago game. Bulls charity game. Um, just storage for now. Portland. Portland. No longer in the league. Which is pretty good. So West Gambia formed in 1938 uh, from the old Roseville Club. Um, they Where formed is Roseville? from there. I think Roseville's like around North Vansadar Park area. Yeah, right. Because um, like that's where they used to play. So true. Um, I guess they were named after that area rather than a geographic location. I don't think Roseville's used at all anymore. I've never heard nah. of it. Nah, never heard of it. It's probably like an old-fashioned name. The Conroe of yesteryear. Yeah. Uh, they used to wear gold with a, no, it was green with a gold W, which is way better than, I reckon, anything no, anyone wears now. And then they changed to a Norwood design before changing to the, the Melbourne design. 
um, which they wear now, just because it was cheaper and a lot of clubs have done this. They've moved to um, VFL based designs because the jumper suppliers could actually get them a lot cheaper. Tennis, they got croquet back there as well. Croquet, wow. So yeah, nothing was here until they built the footy ground and everything else followed. But I do remember I played a school game here once and this is the coolest part, walking out of a bit of a tunnel, which you don't see in many grounds. It's reminiscent of the old Amy Stadium or something like that. But um, there we go, we've got the Demons logos there. Demon colours. Demons Rouge. But they're the Rouge, yeah. <laughs> Quite deadly. Oh yeah, when you're trying, oh, to, yeah, run when you're trying yeah. to run out. The amount of scones that would go on how low that is. Yeah. yeah. Luckily, I don't have to worry about that. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> you can actually see over here the um, where the fire went through. Was it a year ago now? But the trees still haven't recovered. Cricket are, ground, quite nice. Yeah, this is this is a cricket club here. West Gambia Cricket Club. Some other players uh, from West Gambia, um, Mark Yates and his father, John, the guy who knocked out Dermot Brereton in the 89 Grand Final. And uh, also Matthew Clark, who was a Crows Ruckman, played for Brisbane, and also played for St Kilda, which not many people know about, but um, yeah, he came from here as well. And it was 1981 that the Blue Lake Soccer Club moved into Molseed Park as well, and they played in this ground. It's not the biggest. I play plenty of games here. It does get a bit wet during our uh, winter, but so do all the Mount Gambier grounds. So that's just in the corner of the uh, the footy ground here at Molseed Park. Yeah, they still have Western Border on here. Needs updating. Ten bucks to get in. All right, and that's it. We've gone to all the uh, the grounds at Mount Gambier. Uh, appreciate you watching. Definitely check out the Yarns Boys um, online as well. They do good stuff in the Mount. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers.